Hello YouTube. Today we will be unboxing Bamboo Lab A1. This one is without AMS. So let's get started. Taking it out was harder than I thought. So this top one is the filament holder. The included accessories are marked here and I think this is the LED lamp kit and here we have power cable. Be careful taking out the printer frame because its wire is stuck in, into the foam. So let's take the frame out and keep it aside. So it reveals the base plate, so we'll just clear it up. The base housing or bottom plate is secured by the zip tie so they don't move or slide away while shipping. Keeps it secure. So here we have instruction manual, build plate, power cable, some example or sample filament, the base plate, PTFE tube, the frame itself, um, accessory box, filament holder, LED light, and the color swatch. So let me start building. I'm gonna just cut away these zip ties uh, and remove the foam around it. Also remember, previously this build plate was secured by screws at the back. That is no longer the case and they are only secured by these zip ties. See, it's moving now. Let's give it aside and we're gonna cut away the zip ties from the frame itself. Be careful because some wire are close. Some wires are secured by these tapes here. Uh, I'm gonna remove one of the tape and keep other one intact for now. We need to remove this cover there are screw holes that we need to use to secure the frame into the base plate. You can find groove right here, just push it up and slide it out. There are screws hole that is marked with green where we need to put the uh, screws from the accessory box. The screws in the accessory box are marked as well, like what screw goes where, so it's really uh, easy to follow. Like this is for a stiffener that we are not going to use for now. This one is for the purge wiper. And this one is for the base housing. This is what we are going to use now. I am going to align the frame to the base plate. Um, keep the wires away so that they don't tangle. And then take the base plate, um, tilt it 45 degrees and let it fall into the grooves. You might have to do a little bit wiggle here and it should fall in place nicely like this. We can now put all the screws in these green marked holes and tighten it. It is nice that they have given this color coding and it's nice to follow the instruction. Um, we can now slide the back plate and it's going to reveal two other screw holes. All the screws are in and now we can put the cover back. For the cover just slide it parallelly to the base and it should fit right in and clips. Here is the close up for this. Just align these grooves and push it. I couldn't find the purge wiper but hey it was stuck away in the foam. So check all around your foams. That's how it goes in. You just align it and it fits right in. Then we're gonna find the screw and then screw it from beneath. Um, align your allen key and tighten it. We are now gonna put the printer on the sideways to secure the back side of the wiring. That's how you should put it. Be careful that there is no wire pinched between those. 
this is one of the wire that is secured with the tape we are going to take the other set of wires that is also color coded um, we are going to align the USB-C head to the USB inlet uh, just find it the groove and slide it in we can now connect the wires based on the colors it has these grooves for wire management just open it up tuck it in and close it off we are almost done with the back wiring tighten this screw to secure this and we're gonna put the printer back up let's flip it over um, these are the plastic caps that we need to remove they are there to protect the z-axis to move up and down during the shipping now we can add the magnetic plate that comes with the printer align it with the groove and let it go and it should snap in this is a tape securing the SD card of the printer you could use this to save your print files if you don't want to use the wireless option let's move on to a spool holder it unclips pretty easily we're gonna unclip it and then put it on the top bar where we want it and then clip it back again for PTFE tube we can choose any of the filament inlet push it in and other end to the spool holder like so and this is how it should look like the printer comes with this wire organizer we are gonna put PTFE tube to one of the hole and the black data wire into the smaller hole we can now install our filament and feed the filament through the PTFE tube once you start filling it you'd see the filament going in because the tube is translucent um, keep pushing it until you feel resistance it should go all the way in and then stop now we can power up our printer turn it on here is our welcome chime I'm going to remove this protecting cover and start the setup you could choose the language as well as regions based on your location for now I'm going to skip the Wi-Fi agree the policy and then start this uh, starts the calibration process it takes quite long because it goes through a lot of stuff so I would suggest go ahead take a snack or even lunch let's show you guys what comes in accessories meanwhile um, this is the Allen key, some grease, some lubricating oil, extra head cleaner, the magnetic stick, and this is the scraper. Please be mindful that this doesn't come with the handle. You have to print it and then use this screw and then you have uh, the scraper with the handle. The print file comes with the SD card so you can print it when you want it. This is the LED lamp kit you can print the lamp from the printer it has 3m tape with a screw the led module itself the usb cable for the power and the switch to turn it on and off this printer has built-in camera so if you want to record your build you can remove this protecting cover okay calibration is complete now we can choose our test print I'm going to choose Benchy but if you want you can print other stuff like swatch display board scraper grip and so on uh, so let's go ahead and give our printer to print the Benchy it's gonna start some preparation including heading up the nozzle head as well as the print bed so we can see that it is pulling in the filament now 
and there is infamous printer poop okay so let's start printing it is quite fast I had Ender 3 v2 and it was nowhere near this fast so here it is our printer fully assembled with our test print done thank you for watching and enjoy your print journey bye for now